A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hardy high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> The lure of gold brought many settlers to the early western United States. The government regulated the filing of claims to the best of its ability, but gunplay settled many boundary disputes, and it was in the gold country that the masked rider of the plains did some of his best work. With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, he fought for the rights of honest men, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early west itself. And now return with us to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for the hills. There's going to be trouble in the gold country. Hello, Silver. Away. <laughs> Steve Gardner's mine was in the district surrounding Oak Falls. As our story opens, we see a hard-faced man working at the end of the long tunnel which has been dug into the side of the hill. Colors. Gold ore. I hit the vein. Bull! Hey, Bull! What do you want, Jake? Come here and come around it. Hey, what's he like? Oh, Bull, I found it. I found it. I knew blame well Steve's vein had run out. All he'd done was come to a fault. If he'd kept on going, he'd have struck the vein again. Shove it, Jehoshaphat. Here, give me that pick. I'm going to have a look for myself. <laughs> there. Just pick up that piece you knocked off and have a look at it. Golly, it's richer than it was before Steve lost uh -huh, it. And bigger. Look at there. Well, that vein's twice as thick through as it was before. We're rich. We're going to have a fortune. Hold on a second. Huh? What for? Ain't you forgetting something? Forgetting something? You're forgetting this vein ain't on our claim. Well, we're standing to Steve's property. Hmm, that's so. <laughs> but that's something can be fixed. Yeah? We could offer him a price for his claim. After all, as far as he knows, it ain't worth much. Oh, don't be a doggone fool. You know just how far we'd get trying to do business with him again after that one claim we sold him. <laughs> the one we sold him, you mean? Jake, I never seen a fellow so tarnation mad as he was after that deal. <laughs> he was fit to be tied. <laughs> Especially because he couldn't prove nothing. <laughs> But it looks like the couple of hundred dollars we made on that claim is going to keep us from cleaning up on this other. I don't know. Steve's pa's mighty sick and needs a heap of doctoring. Steve might jump at the chance to get a little cash on hand. Uh, maybe, but I doubt it. Well, come along. Won't hurt none to talk to him. If he's too blame stubborn to sell, well, there's ways to get around that. You got something in mind, Bull? <laughs> I might have. And here's the hole that takes us into the main tunnel. Blast it, Jake. Why'd you have to make it so small a fella can hardly squeeze through? Well, it had to be small enough to cover up easy, didn't it? If anybody ever found out we tunneled from our claim into Steve's, it'd be the devil to pay. Well, you go on through first. Sure. Oh. Right, my shoulder. Uh, all right, Bull, come on. Blast it, holy. Big enough for a snake. There. 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 Like I was saying, Jake, if Steve won't sell, I got another idea. Yeah? 
I figure something happened to Steve, his pod sell out and be glad of the chance. Something happened to Steve? Now look here, Bone. If you're planning to drill him, you can count me out. I don't aim to have the sheriff on my trail. <laughs> we couldn't be blamed if somebody else drilled him, could we? Huh? Yeah, here's the entrance. Doggone if I ain't always glad to get outside again where a fella don't have to worry about rock caving in on him. Yeah. There's smoke showing from Steve's place. He must be home all right. Come on. Just what you mean about somebody else drilling, Steve? You ever hear of Big Stone Canyon? No, don't recollect nothing. If Steve won't sell, that place is just made to order for us. Yeah, but what about... I'll tell you about it later. We don't want Steve to hear nothing. Huh. Come on in. Why, you... If I'd known it was you fellas not, they'd have told you to go to blazes. Hmm. Fixing yourself some to eat, huh? Maybe it's being hungry makes you so blamed unsociable. Get out of here. Is that Jason Blue, Stevie? Yeah, Pa, but them skunks won't be in here long. Ah, now, Steve, ain't no use of talking like that when we come to do business. <laughs> you ailing so you can't get out of bed, Mr. Gardner? I'm always ailing, Dad Rabbit. If it ain't one thing, it's the other. Stevie, give me another swallow of my medicine, won't you? Just a minute, Pa, till I've settled with these polecats. All right, state your business, then make tracks. Steve, how would you like to sell out? Sell out? Sure. Me and Jake was just talking today about how bad you needed cash. We thought maybe if we bought your claim, it'd help you out some. We wouldn't be needing cash if you hadn't cheated us on that other claim you sold us. Shucks, Steve. We're as sorry about that as you are. That's why we'd like to make it up to you now. Sure. That's why, Steve. You're up to something crooked again. You fellas never done nobody a favor in your lives. Your claim's petered out, ain't it? Yeah, but and it's a little not... cash is better than none, ain't it? Not if it's your cash. Ah, oh, come on now, Steve. That ain't no way to talk. Shut up and listen to me. I know you fellas saw that claim I bought off on you. Even if I can't get evidence, it'll stand up in court. If I hadn't found the one I got now, we'd have been dead broke, and Paul might have died. And I don't care if this claim's finished, too. I'll never do business with low-down, ornery, cheating skunks like you fellas again. And that goes as it lays, so get! Come on, Jake. Ain't no use talking sense to an hombre that don't know sense when he sees it. If you fellas come in here again, I'll take my shooting iron to you. We gave you your chance, Steve, and you threw it down. We won't be back. Blasted fool. I told you he wouldn't listen, didn't I? And I told you if he didn't, there was another way to deal with him. And there is. Come on. I'll tell you about Big Stone Canyon and what I had in mind. It was almost two weeks later that Tonto, the faithful Indian companion of the Lone Ranger... Heard someone call to him as he rode down a winding mountain trail. Injun! Any injun! Oh, Chuck. Oh. I'm over here, Redskin. Come here. I want to talk to you. Uh, me come. Get him up, Scout. That's all right, Injun. I'm sure glad to see you. Oh, Scout. Oh, oh, oh. You. You want me? Injun, would you like to make yourself some cash? What me do? You know where Oak Falls is? Uh, that's where fella mine gold. Uh huh, that's right. That's where I was heading when my horse went lame just now. Blast the luck. I had something real important to do there. Now I won't be able to make it. Where, horse? That's my horse over there, tethered to that sapling. Now, look here, Redstone. You do like I want, and there's more than $100 in it for you. Mm, not plenty. You just bet it is. Are you on? You tell Tonto what to do. Well, it's like this, Injun. I've been prospecting around these hills, and I run across a place where there's more gold laying around loose than you can shake a stick at. I wanted to get to Oak Falls and tell a fella I know about it. Now that my horse is lame, I can't ride no farther. Mm, me tell fella you find gold. No, no, Injun, you can't do that. What matter? Well, you see, Injun, the fella I want you to tell don't like me. He thinks I've done him a dirty deal once, so he won't believe nothing I say. Oh. I was wondering how I'd let him know without my name being connected with it. Then when I seen you, it came to me how it could be done. What fella's name? He's a young hombre by the name of Steve Gardner. You can't mistake him. He's got a paw that's ailing all the time. Now, here, I'll give you this poke of mine. There's over a hundred dollars worth of gold in there. Where you get gold? You just tell Steve you found this gold in Big Stone Canyon, man. What you say? Hey, you know that place? No, no, me not know. Oh, I didn't figure you looked like an engine to come from around them parts. Well, will you do it? How to do it? Tell Steve Big Stone Canyon is right where the bitter root swings south on the other side of the hills. He can tell it by all the big stones laying loose outside the entrance. Uh -huh. And you can keep them nuggets for your trouble. Now, you got everything straight? Me not forget. Good. That's just fine. Now, get along with you. Remember, you do it just like I said. Me go now. Adios. Get him up, Scout. Mm -hmm. 
And you say you know there isn't gold in Big Stone Canyon, Toto? No, they're not Golden Canyon. But you didn't let them suspect you'd been there before, did you? Mm, me fool them plenty. Good. I wonder what that fellow's game is. You said Big Stone Canyon is the burial place of a famous Indian chief. That means it's sacred to his tribe. Any white man found prospecting there would be killed. Not right. Toto, we're going to look into this. What we do. Steady, Silver. We're riding to Oak Falls. Oh. You're going to do exactly what that man told you. Unless he thinks that Steve Gardner is tricked, he'll not show his hand. Uh Huh? Show Steve the gold. Tell him you found it in the canyon. Then leave the rest to me. How to do that? Come on, Toto. Head, Redskin. Fill up your plate again. You're welcome to anything we got here. <laughs> Me not want more. Shucks, you haven't had enough to keep a bird alive. Hey, Paul, feeling good enough to have some of this bacon? Now you just let me sleep some, Stevie. Maybe later on in the day I'll be able to swallow some victuals. Him sick. Paul ain't been well for the past five years, Redskin. Gosh, I'd give my right arm to have the cash to send him east where he could be took care of right. Uh, but it ain't likely I'll ever have that much all at one time. Maybe me help him. Huh? What could you do? In you know many medicine, pale face not know. Well, it's mighty kind of you, Redskin, but I reckon you couldn't do any more for him than a sawbones in town has done. Uh, hey, where you going? Me leave now. Well, what are you doing with that leather poke? Me pay for grub. Now, hold on, Redskin. We don't want no pay for what you at. Why, Jerusalem, Redskin. Where'd you get that gold? Me find long way off. Gold? If I knew where to lay my hands on some nuggets like Tim, I could take care of Paul the way he should be. I could... Gosh, Redskin, you, you wouldn't tell me just where it was you found that, would you? Me tell you. You will? Uh, me find in Big Stone Canyon. Huh? Where's that? It's where Bitter Root River goes south. There's Big Stone outside. That's how Canyon get name. And, and there's more of that gold where you found that? Mmm, plenty more. Whoa! Hey, you, you haven't told nobody else about this canyon, have you? Can't only tell you. Pa, Pa, did you hear that? Redskin told me where I could get more gold like he's got. Hey, Redskin, come here. Uh-huh. You said maybe you could help, Pa. I don't suppose you can, but would you be willing to stay with him while I'm gone? If you ain't, I'll have to let that gold go. I can't leave Paul by himself. No, Stevie. Now me stay. Redskin, you're a gift from heaven. You're the best fellow I've ever seen. I'm getting packed and I'm leaving for Big Stone Canyon today. <laughs> so slow. Get up there. (laughs) Shucks, you're the laziest horse I ever did see. (laughs) But I'm telling you, fella, if you carry me to where there's real pay dirt, I'll see to it you don't ever have to work again. Uh -uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. I'll turn you loose where the pasture is long and tasty and green. I'll feed you so many oats you'll get so fat you won't be knowing yourself. Come on, Silver! Who's that? A masked man, an outlaw. Get up there, get up there. Oh, no, man. Get away from me. Get up, get up there. You can't get away. Stop your horse. Let go of that bridle or I'll plug you. Oh, you won't. You smashed my gun. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Flash, what's the idea? You can't get away. You're going with me, Steve. But wait a minute. Don't argue. You're going to my camp. I haven't no cash. I ain't got nothing an outlaw would want. That's what we're going to find out. You, I got it. You're a friend of Bulls and Jake's. They sent you gunning for me. Just like them polecats to hire somebody to shoot me down. Just the contrary. I'm saving your life. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you. 
now to continue our story. As Steve Gardner was making his way toward Big Stone Canyon in the belief that he could find gold there, he was captured by the Lone Ranger. Several weeks later, we see the two miners, known as Bull and Jake, as they approach the Gardner cabin. Don't figure we're calling on old Andy too soon, do you, Bull? Steve's been gone three weeks, ain't he? Yeah, but I but don't... But nothing. I savvy them Indians by Big Stone Canyon. If they didn't scalp Steve for going in there, I'll eat my shirt. They most likely did, but you can't be sure. Look here, Jake. If Steve was alive, he'd have been back here by this time after finding out he got fooled. Yeah, maybe. And if he ain't been killed, it don't make no difference. Just so he ain't around. Huh? Why don't it? Because <laughs> I've been looking things up. And I found where he's got both his claims registered in his pa's name. Is that a fact? Uh-huh. We're going to get Andy to sell out to us, or I'll know the reason why. He ain't like Steve. I ain't worried about him not selling it. Nope, Andy. Me and Jake. You wouldn't have walked in here like that if Steve was down. This ain't no time for hard words, Andy. We... We got some bad news for you. Bad... Bad news? About Steve. Your boy. And there... There ain't nothing happened to him, has there? Well, it... No, shucks. You tell him, Jake. Uh, wait. Wait till I sit down. Sure. I... I thought I was getting stronger since Tonto's been here, but I, I reckon I'm a mite weaker than I figured. Andy, this redskin you call Tonto's been the means of killing Steve. No. Steve? Dead? No. It can't be so. I'm powerful sorry to have to tell you about it, but it's so. Me and Bull just heard about it today, so we came right over. Go, go on. You see, Andy, it seems like this canyon where Steve went is a bad place for white folks. The engines up there won't stand for a white man going in the canyon. Because it's a place where a chief of theirs was buried. And when Steve went inside looking for gold, them redskins found his trail and killed him. Steve, dead. I, I just don't seem able to get it through my head. It, it don't seem no ways possible. As a trapper told us, he wouldn't have no reason for lying about it. I, I reckon not. I don't suppose you're any too well fixed for cash, are you, Andy? If it hadn't been for Tonto, I wouldn't have had nothing to eat. And to think it was Tonto got my boy killed. What we was thinking was that maybe now, needing cash like you do, you'd consider selling the claim. Selling? Oh, why not? You ain't got the strength to work it. No. And what if Steve was again selling it to us? He sure wouldn't ask you to starve on account of the way he felt. I, I don't know. It don't seem hardly right. But there ain't nobody else that'll buy him. And I gonna have cash for grub. Then you'll sell, sure enough. I... Uh, give me time to sort of think it over, won't you? Sure, if that's what you want, Andy. We ain't gonna rush things. Only... Yeah? Well, even if you do like this redskin that's been staying with you, I wouldn't think you'd exactly hanker to be living off him no longer. After what happened. Just let me think it over, that's all. I... I'll give you your answer tomorrow. Good enough. Let's get home, Jake. I reckon Andy would like to be alone for a spell. Uh-huh. We'll be back again tomorrow at just the same time. I'll be here. Good day, dear. Steve, gone. The, the boy I raised all these years. There weren't no finer boy anywhere. Andy. A masked man. Listen to me, Andy. Steve isn't dead. Uh, but they just told me. I know me. what they told you, but I'm telling you the truth. But, uh, Here, read this. It's a note from Steve. I think it'll explain everything. Why? Why, he says he's been with you all this time. He has. But why didn't he let me know? Why? It was hard on you, Andy, but it had to be done this way. If you'd known the truth, Bull and Jake might have guessed it. This way, they're convinced you believe Steve is dead. But, stranger, I still don't Does see... that note convince you that I'm your friend? Steve says to trust you, mister, and I reckon what Steve says is good enough for me. Good. I've learned a number of things lately. Enough to find a way to punish Bull and Jake. What's that? They plotted Steve's death, Andy. But if you do exactly what I tell you, they'll be brought to justice. They schemed to kill Steve? They did. Why, the low-down rotten skunks? Uh, stranger, tell me what your scheme is. <laughs> Back 
frank like we promised we'd be. I don't reckon you feel much like talking business the way things are, but, well, after all, you've got to think of how you're going to live. That's all right, fellas. Uh, sit down. Uh, well, now, you're taking it real sensible. Sure, we'll sit down. Have you made up your mind yet? I suppose, rightly, I ought to say. Oh, but... sure, you're sure. And like I told you before, there ain't been nobody but you fellas ever gave an offer for the claim. Shucks, why should they? The vein run out, didn't it? That's what I can't figure. If the claim's no good, what do you fellas want with it? Now, look here, Andy. Don't get the notion we're going to offer a whole pile of cash for the mine. What do you give me? Oh, a hundred dollars? We don't aim to be stingy about this. Oh, it ain't enough. Huh? Why, you're loco. Shucks, don't argue with them, Jake. We'll give two hundred. Nope. If you want that mine, you'll give a thousand. I say, that's twice as much as you paid us for that other claim. Uh-huh. Well, we won't consider. Shut up, Jake. Andy, it's a bargain. We'll pay you a thousand. Though why we're so doggone soft-hearted, I'll be blamed if I know. You got the cash with you? How much are you carrying, Jake? Hmm, I got it if you don't mind taking folding money. Folding money will do me. Just a second. I got the papers here all ready for signing. Good enough. How about witnesses? Wait, I think I've seen a couple of fellas just pass by. They'll do all right. Hey, you fellas. All of us. Step in here a minute, won't you? Sure. They coming? They're right here. Howdy, fellas. Step in. Don't mind witnessing some papers, do you? Shucks, glad to oblige. Here's the papers, fellas. And here's pen and ink on the table. Look the papers over, then sign up and pay me the cash. Ah, uh, look at them papers. Them the right ones, Bull? Hmm. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, these are the ones, all right. <laughs> well, where's that pen, huh? Whoa, what the... An outlaw. Where in the man? I'll kill all of you. Are you coming? Careful, Jake. He looks like you'll plug you. I will if you slap, brother. What do you want with us? If this is a hold-up, you'll pay for it, mister. Well, we ain't got no cash on a stranger. Honest, we ain't. I'll see about that. Line up there. You can keep still. Take your hands off of me. I ain't got no cash, I told you. Don't move. I'll search the rest of you. You there. Right. You. Yeah. Nothing worth taking. We told you we didn't have it. I just wasted my time on you. I'm going. But if a man follows me outside of this door within the next ten minutes, he'll get drilled. Ooh. Gosh, he never even touched the pocket that had my cash in it. Well, maybe he didn't. But we're going to sign these papers pronto and give the cash to Andy. Then if that crook comes back again, it'll be Andy that's robbed instead of us. Here, hand me that pen. deed was transferred and the money paid. Then, the next day, Bull and Jake, congratulating themselves on their cleverness, went to work with pick and shovel in the mine. I'm going to rest a minute, Jake. That's hard work. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> the more I think this deal over, Jake, the funnier it strikes me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a slick one, all right. But the best part of it is that even when we get through to where the vein starts again, old Andy won't be able to say nothing. <laughs> it ain't our fault we run into high-grade ore. And it's happened lots of times before that mines that are supposed to be worthless started paying again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The old galoot kind of surprised me, though. <laughs> I never reckoned he'd be stubborn enough to hold out for what he did. Shucks, I thought he'd jump at the chance to get a hundred for his claim. Well, it don't matter none. We'd paid ten times as much, we'd still be getting a bargain. Well, this ain't getting us nowhere, standing here talking. <coughs> yeah. How much further do you figure we have to dig, Jake? Mm, maybe five, six feet. Well, then, let's get at it. <coughs> <coughs> Strike the vein? Yeah. Look, I'm colored. By golly, you're right. <laughs> Jake, we bought a fortune for a thousand dollars. Yeah. Look at that. Stop working now. What the? Same mass man. Come on, man. Well, Bull, thanks for doing that work for me. You too, Jake. Hi, Steve. We, we thought you was dead. Well, I ain't, and I've come back to claim my mind. You can't do it. We don't care what happened. This mine was bought and paid for by us. Even if you ain't dead, Steve, your pa had the right to sell it. And he sold you men of mine, but not this one. Uh huh? What's that? If you look at your deed again, you'll find you bought the mine you sold it and sold to Steve some time ago. But that ain't so. 
Fool, you looked at them papers, didn't you? He's trying to bluff us. Of course I looked at them. And they was for this mine right here. Well, they were when you looked at them. What do you mean? But you didn't sign the same papers you looked at. Look, the mask fellas giving you the right of it, fellas. But, but we signed the papers was on the table. Do you remember when I came in the cabin yesterday? And held us up? He was so busy watching me that you didn't pay any attention to Andy. He'd had a second group of papers prepared. And he substituted those when you weren't looking. Boy, the dirty... It was your own fault. You couldn't wait until the papers were signed and the money given to Andy. You wanted him to be the loser in case of another holdup. Oh, you tricked us. I'll show it out, Andy. Oh, let go of my arm. Hey, hey, you're breaking it. Drop that gun. There, there it is. I'll take care of the cooks now, stranger. The sheriff. There you prisoner, Sheriff. I'll see if they get a plenty. If we can't hold them on, nothing else. Assault with intent to kill. Keep them in jail a mighty long time. All right, boys, bring them along. Right. Come on. Good guy, Steve. I was sure glad to hear it when the masked man told me you were still alive. Paul, when I first met up with a masked fellow, I figured him to be a friend of these skunks. But it didn't take me long to figure different after I talked to him. But how did he find out there was gold here? <laughs> he didn't know it till after these crooks started to work. He said we'd let him think they'd bought the mine, then they'd show why they wanted it. Well, I'll be doggone. They showed us where the gold was, and on top of that, paid us back twice as much as we paid them for that no-good claim they sold us. Paul, now you can go east and get all the fancy doctrine you need. Look here, Stevie. I don't need no doctrine. The mask fella made us rich, and the engine made me well. Them two fellas beat anything I ever seen. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Prairie Grove! Sun is waiting for us! Hello, Silver! Hello! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.